All right, so today I am going to try to kill two birds with one stone. The first thing I'm going to do is I want to make sure that this new wireless microphone setup that I got, it's a dual wireless mic setup, uh, works for the interview that I'm doing tomorrow. So as I said, I planned on doing a series of interviews with some of the people that, that inspire the core philosophies and business talk playlist. A lot of the ideas that I talk about in that playlist are not ideas that started in my head. They're ideas that came from people that are far smarter and far more successful than me. And I want you to hear some of what they have to say directly rather than just always hearing it through me. Uh, the second thing I want to do here, other than just test the, see if this little micro, this wireless microphone setup works, which is why I'm wearing two of them, is I wanted to provide a sincere thank you to every single one of you that actually called a senator or called an assembly person or sent a letter. I honestly expected maybe five or ten of the people that uh, that watched my right to repair video to actually do something, but there were thousands upon thousands of you that poured in your support. And that means a lot, and I really appreciate that. And I do want to say thank you, not just for writing letters, but for also sharing this content with your friends so that other people can be aware of what it is we go through and other people can have an idea of what's going on. So from the bottom of my heart, truly, uh, you know, no wise ass stuff here. Thank you very much for that. I really appreciate that. And unfortunately, the bill was not passed. It seems that it didn't even get past the, the first set of people that, that it should go through. I think it's like the rulemaking body or something. I should check my email so I don't sound like a complete political idiot. I don't know much about politics here. But it didn't, it didn't, make, it fa it didn't make it that far. And the, I have a strong feeling the reason it didn't make it that far is because we didn't show up this year. So last year, we showed up. Last year, we presented our stories again. When we heard, when we heard politicians say, that lobbyists told them that when I run a wire to fix a motherboard using a schematic, that I turn the Mac into a PC, I misrepresent it to the customer, and that's why we can't have access to this stuff. Again, being able to actually be there and refute this BS in real time was, I think, what made the biggest difference. And we weren't asked up this year, which I imagine may have had a lot to do with it. Because the people who are, who are choosing what's going to go on with this legislation are people who don't really get to hear both sides of the story. And Apple, IBM, Cisco, and Xerox were all there. And again, Jessa was teaching a class, and I was here fixing motherboards. So who are they going to listen to? A lot of it has to come down to the fact that there is a lot of important things that these politicians have to do. And they are off, if there is a dispute, they're often going to side with the people that actually show up to present their case. If I have to, if I have to decide on something that I don't know a lot about, and I have a lot on my plate, and somebody shows up to present their argument, and somebody else does not show up to present their argument. Honestly, as much as I dislike the way that went, I understand why it went the way it did. And the, the, I also have to live with the reality that I cannot afford a full-time lobbyist that is as passionate as I am about repair and everything I talk about in this channel to go up there every single day for years and years to try to get a bill passed. It's not going to happen. But if I am asked to go up, I will more than happily take a day off, uh, you know, again, let everything stack up, Book a hotel, you know, book a, you know, again, get on Amtrak, hop on there, and, and refute all of this bullshit as often as I can. And it's not dead. Next year, there's going to be another chance. But I just really wanted to give a sincere thank you to all of you who actually spread the news, who talked about it with your friends, who actually took time to call and write letters. That stuff does matter. There are so many more people that are aware of this now. And you bet your ass that I'm going to figure out how it is I can get uh, put into the decision-making process next year. Because when I remember visiting last year, what I did, I just took a motherboard to every single room, and I said, this is something that Apple will charge, 750 to 1254. This is something another company is going to charge, whatever for. It's not just unique to one company. And we can make this work again for anything in between the cost of the wire and what they're charging. And it's something that they, they really all understood because every single one of these lobbyists, and not, not lobbyists, every single one of the assembly people, or the senators, or the senators' aides that we spoke to, not only did they actually care, one of them who hadn't even eaten breakfast postponed his lunch to meet with us and didn't eat for the whole day. These people do care. But also a lot of them had experiences like this. One of them said that they were going to be charged 500 bucks at a store for a fan. You know, they have, ex they, they have all had these negative experiences. Every single one of those senators, senators' aides, and assembly people, they're regular people. They're people who have gone to the dealer and gotten gouged. They're people who have had something break and had a frustrating experience. And when you explain everything to them in a humble way, they're more than happy to listen. And I was really happy to be a part of that process. And I'm more than happy to be a part of that process again. So don't give up. 
keep fixing stuff, keep sharing information on how to fix stuff, keep letting people know that this is an issue that they should be concerned about unless they want the end of the warranty to be the expiration date for their device. And again, just thank you very much for watching and a heartfelt thank you to every single one of you that wrote a letter or called or cared enough to share the news. That's all I have to say for today. Hopefully this microphone doesn't sound like complete shit because I, do, I don't exactly have a lot of time left to uh, change it before the interview tomorrow. I'm really excited to be doing this interview. I really do hope I can get more people on this show that were an influence to me, that helped me in my business life to get ahead and get, uh, you know, a lot of the, again, so much of what I talk about, it's not, it's stuff that I learned during these 10 second to 90 second conversations that just changed the way that I viewed the world and changed the way I viewed business. And if I hadn't had those conversations, life would have been so much differently for me. I would have been trying to do everything the same way everybody else was doing it and it just wouldn't have worked. And I really am excited about the opportunity to share the knowledge that, that these experienced individuals have